My son, John John Dereggi, was killed on September 14, 2015, while taking pictures on the railroad tracks. Before this tragedy, my thought of trains were that they were big, they were loud, you could feel it, you could hear it, that there's no way you can't not know that a train is coming. And oh, how mistaken I was. Her phone was a huge part of her life. Her accident was deemed distracted driving. And if I could have been on her shoulder that day, I would have turned her phone off. Told her to figure out where you're going before you go. But I can't go back. And she can't go back. I had never expected in my life whatsoever that I would be losing a limb or going through a traumatic incident like I had. It only takes a second to change your life. In March of 1999, I was a passenger on a train involved in a crossing collision, and it resulted in the death of my mom, my two best friends, and my niece, and the amputation of my right leg. I don't remember the exact moment that I found out that a commercial truck driver caused the collision, um, but I do remember thinking, oh my gosh, why he, this one guy caused this huge thing? Why couldn't he have just waited? What would our lives have looked like had this not happened? I really miss him when he's, when there's a family holiday. Um, there's always that empty chair at the table and always that empty spot in my heart. There's not a day go by that we don't miss him and wish that he was here. By heeding to train safety and not trespassing and obeying the law when it comes to trains, that, ugh. If you can get the message out to just one person, then that's one person that you've saved. And they won't have to go through what our family's gone through. Thank you.